Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or afternoon or evening, whatever time it is when you guys are listening to this podcast. Uh, my name is Tyler Matthews. I'll be your host. We have not come up with a name for this podcast yet. We just are getting started. We, I've had this idea for years and never did it. We finally bought the microphone. We bought the headphones, and we're getting started. I, it's 2023. I told my man Zach, let's buy it, and let's start the first week. Even if we don't know what we're doing, we'll figure it out. We'll get more equipment as we go. Anyways, um, just a quick overview of what this podcast will be about. Um, a lot of basketball. It'll be basketball skill development, coaching, IQ, the mental side of the game, um, business. It'll be about different topics in business, marketing, sales. Um, we'll talk about maybe controversial topics in the world or in the basketball world at least. Um, we'll have guest speakers on, so current players, former players, current coaches, trainers, um, basketball fanatics, maybe parents, different things like that. Um, and, and we just really want to provide value to the people listening. So anybody who's on the other side listening to this podcast or watching this podcast, we want after every episode for you to be able to take away one to maybe two or three things that either inspired you, motivated you, educated you, and um, things that you can take and actually apply either on the court or in your current life. And so for those of you that don't know me, my name is Tyler Matthews. I will be the, po the host of this podcast and um, just a quick rundown on who I am and what I've been through in life. Um, I played basketball my whole life growing up. I had great parents. Um, they were very supportive of me, but they didn't really know the right way to navigate the basketball scene and, and how to get me to be the best player that I could have been. Um, so I more just shot around in my driveway. I played at the local YMCA and I never really got into AAU until it was too late and everybody had already been playing AAU. And so I was a decent player, nothing spectacular. I played varsity my junior and senior year. And then I injured my back with a few games left in my senior year. And so that sidelined my college dreams. And I just ended up going to college just for school. I was going to the local junior college. And as I was working at an ice cream shop, one of the owners asked me if I could train their son because they knew that I played basketball at the local high school. So I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. I kind of wanted to be a real estate agent. I kind of wanted to stay connected to basketball somehow, but I didn't really know if it was possible. And then long story short, I had one kid that I started training, which quickly turned into 20 kids. And then every night I was researching basketball training, basketball drills. I got addicted to the kids improvement. The, the 20 kids that I had that I was training, I just wanted to see them get better and better and they were getting better and better. And I wanted to find how can I get them better faster? And um, yep, so then it got to the point where it made more sense for me to open my own gym. We were training out of parks and we would have weather um, delays or cancellations and I was renting rec centers and then I ended up paying more in rec center costs than it cost me to open my own small warehouse gym and so um, we started Fast Phenom kind of just came up with a brand name and opened the gym and figured out the business side of things as we've gone and um, Fast Phenom has now grown. We have two gyms. We have three trainers. We have over 100 players that we train on a weekly basis. We run camps, clinics, um, and we, we really just try to transfer the knowledge from us and our trainers and the curriculum that we've developed down to the players and not only teach them about basketball, but we try to incorporate how the things that they're learning through basketball will apply to their life outside of basketball right now or when the ball stops bouncing one day. Some of the players that we train may become pros. Some of them might only make it to college. Some of them might not touch a ball after high school. And so we want to make sure that the work ethic and the habits that they're building through basketball will translate into life. Um, and then what else? So a little bit more about me. I have a kid on the way that I'm really excited about, me and my girlfriend. 
she's pregnant. Well, we're pregnant. And so June 2023, we're expecting a little daughter, a little girl. So I'm going to be a dad. That'll be fun. Um, and I love helping people and I love improvement. So that's pretty much what I'll wrap this up with is that is what I feel like my purpose is. And that's what I really enjoy is helping other people and improvement and seeing other people improve and improving myself. And so kind of what I started the podcast with was we just got started. That's a big part of improving is a lot of people maybe if we wanted to start this podcast would sit here for seven months and think about what's the perfect name, what's the perfect equipment. We're just getting started and then you improve as you go. 1% every day leads to a lot of improvement over a long enough time horizon. And so um, thank you guys if you listened this far. I know this was a shorter episode. Like I said, every episode we will have a different topic, maybe a different guest speaker, and we'll just look to provide value to you guys. Hopefully it's a good listen for you, um, whether you're in the car or working and it's playing in the background, or if you're just really focused in on the podcast, taking some notes. So um, again, thank you guys. And this was episode zero slash episode one. And stay tuned next week for the next episode.